Professor Yerabali, what are we going to learn today? Today we're going to look at an important topic, interrupts. Interrupts are what make embedded systems truly responsive and ready for real time. Interrupts are my favorite topic and they allow the computer to work on multiple tasks just like humans do. When the phone rings, we answer it. And when the alarm goes off, we wake up. And when I'm hungry, I eat. Uh, so just like humans, some tasks can be scheduled in advance, but there are other tasks that we just respond to when they happen. So if everything was done using busy wait synchronization, that would look like me staring at the phone for it to ring instead of just picking it up when it rings. Yes, interrupts allow the system to make efficient use of processor time so that we can perform other tasks while we're waiting for the I.O. to complete. Of course, for interrupts to work, we need support from both the processor and the devices it inter interfaces. Devices can be internal, like the cystic counter, or they could be external, like switches and UART. From a programmer standpoint, we will do three things. First, we must initialize the interrupt. And second, we'll have to write an interrupt service routine, which processes or services that interrupt. And third, we're going to need a way for the interrupt service routine to communicate with the main thread. And from a processor standpoint, we will look at what happens behind the scenes when an interrupt occurs. That is, we will look at what transpires upon a context switch. That is, from the background thread to the foreground thread, or the foreground thread to the background thread. Yes, but Professor Yerobal, you know I like to build things. What are we going to build? Oh, we're going to build something fun. In fact, we're going to build a robot car using DC motors. We will control the duty cycle of the DC motor by using interrupts to control precise timing. But I don't like to go slow. This car will go really fast. Yes, so let's build it. <laughs>